New at 10, the suburbs are not safe. That message will soon go up around Milwaukee, and the person behind it may surprise you. He held a gun to my head and said, you do what I'm telling you to do, or I'm going to kill your loved ones. That Hartford woman is a daughter, a friend, an athlete, and most importantly, a survivor. And she is behind a new edgy campaign to warn parents and children about sex trafficking. Ricky Mitchell's here to share her story. Ricky? Well, these billboard, billboards, that is, are intended to turn heads and get people talking about sex trafficking in every community in Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look how young I look. Emmy Meyer says she led a pretty typical childhood, playing soccer, even earning student of the month at her school. But in her early 20s, she became involved with a man who eventually, she says, became her trafficker. He told me that he would keep me safe and that I would have a house, a roof over my head, food in my stomach. My trafficker, just like many, used force, fraud and coercion. He made me false promises. He made threats against my family. She says the FBI helped her get away and start over. Now Myers runs Lacey's Hope Project, a nonprofit that educates first responders, teachers, and other industries on the signs of sex trafficking. Her new public service campaign will send the message that sex trafficking is not just an issue in big cities. I want you to look for somebody like me. The statewide anti-human trafficking task force says victims come from a range of income levels and backgrounds and from every county in the state. The National Human Trafficking Hotline says 91 cases have been reported so far this year in Wisconsin. There are so many people that think it's not happening in my community. What advice, if any, do you have for parents? Talk about this. Get educated. It doesn't have to happen to your child. And I know for a fact my mom never thought that I would become a sex trafficking victim. Emmy's organization, Lacey's Hope Project, will hold a fundraiser in September. The billboards and bus shelters are expected to launch sometime in the fall, mainly in southeast Wisconsin, but she says they will have a presence in every part of the state. Stephen Carroll. And no doubt have an impact. Thank you, Ricky.